Hey guys, it's Carolyn. Um, I'm gonna make this really quick because I've recorded it three times. Last time it was really stupid and I was like trying to delete a different video from my camera and I accidentally deleted the one that I had just done perfectly, so yeah, anger. But anyway, um, this is a book tag and it was created by Books with Claire and it's called the Bo Bomov, Bomov tag. Um, she created and what it is is um, it's all about movie and TV series tie-in editions of books um, and I was really appreciative that um, she tagged me because it's like the first time I've ever been tagged and so it just makes me feel like people watch my videos and that makes me feel special so thank you Claire um, that was fun and it's really cool because um, like Obviously, I'm a huge movie book, book to movie fan, so um, this was a really fun tag to do. Okay, so first question is, how many television and or movie tie-in edition, editions of books do you own? 17. Quite a bit. Uh, more than I expected when I started counting. Um, oh, and here, I'll just show them to you real quick. Um, okay, New Moon by Stephanie Meyer, Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer, oh, one of them just fell down, and it was a big old one. Okay, um, Possession by A.S. Byatt, uh, Birdsong, A Novel of Love and War by Sebastian Fox, We Bought a Zoo by Benjamin Mee, Holes by Louis Sechar, the Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. My Life in France by Julia Child. The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. Can y'all tell that I love Nicholas Sparks? Um, Bright Star. Love Letters and Poems from John Keats to Fanny Braun. The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger. Nim's Island by Wendy Orr. Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen. The Duchess by Amanda Foreman. And last but not least, Aragon by Christopher Paley. Okay, so those are all the ones I got. Um, Second question is, which did you like most? I'm ashamed to say that I have only read four of the 17. Um, several of them are kind of high up on my TBR, but uh, anyway, of those four, it was New Moon, Eclipse, Holes, and Last Song, and equal tie between Last Song and Holes as far as my favorites, because um, Last Song is my favorite um, one of my favorite Nicholas Sparks books, like, it's in the top three for me, and, um, Holes was one of my favorite childhood books. Um, I had to read it in sixth grade for my English class way before the film came out. It was, like, three, three or four years before the film came out, um, and I just, I love both of them a lot. Um, they're just two of my favorite books. Uh, three is, did the characters in the TV series or movie meet your expectations? Um, I was kind of confused by this question, but I'm assuming she meant in conjunction with question number two, um, which would be, like, the Holes adaptation and the Last Song adaptation. Um, and between the two, Holes definitely did a better job. Um, Last Song was just really... Because, okay, Louis Satchar wrote the screenplay for Holes and wrote the book. Nicholas Sparks wrote the screenplay for Last Song and wrote the book. However, Louis Satchar wrote the book and then the screenplay, and Nicholas Sparks wrote the screenplay and then the book. And somehow, when Nicholas Sparks wrote the screenplay and then the book, stuff just got lost in the shuffle, or he decided it was a good idea to change really stupid stuff. Like, in, um, 
the movie, it's set in Georgia, and in the book, it's set in North Carolina. And granted, everyone expects stuff to be set in North Carolina, but then why wouldn't you just set the film in North Carolina? Like, what is the difference? I don't understand that. Um, and there were other random differences, but most of the other differences, I thought, are what made the book better. Um, so yeah. And, but, okay, holes. Um, brilliant adaptation, amazing. The acting was fantastic. Um, I'm a huge Shia LaBeouf fan of him as an actor, um, and I've been watching his stuff since Even Stevens, if anybody remembers that show. I loved it. Um, and that was his first major motion picture was Holes, and he did a fantastic job. And so did everybody else. Everybody else was mostly well-known, well, except the kids, but, like, all the grown-up actors were really well-known, and they all did fantastic jobs. So, yeah. Um, rave. <laughs> uh, four is show two that you want to read soon. The two that I want to read quite soon are We Bought a Zoo by Benjamin Mee and Birdsong, a novel of love and war by Sebastian Fox. Um, I saw this film and saw this miniseries and literally the next day after both I ran out to get the book. Um, well actually I looked for this for a while because I thought the original cover wasn't very pretty. So this is one of the few editions where I wanted the movie cover very badly. Um, but yeah, so I've just been meaning to read these for quite a while, and having gotten around to it, need to do that. Okay, next is, um, what is your favorite cover and why? Okay, really fast, I've got four favorite covers. And they are... I really love Possession because I love um, that it shows the duality of the two parallel stories that are in the film um, because one story is set in present day and um, it's their story and one day one story is set in the past. Um, it's about them and they're linked because these two are researching these two because they're famous poets. And I just love how the poster shows that. I love, like, present, past, fantastic affair down here. Plus, I love all, all four of these actors a lot. Um, yeah, I just, I love it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I do. Next, I love the New Moon cover because, um, and yeah, it looks a little romance novel-ish, whatever. Um, but this is for stupid reasons, but basically, originally I was a huge, like, I'm a huge Edward in the books fan. In the movie, not so much, but, um, in the books I'm a huge Edward fan, including the first time I read New Moon, I skipped all of the Jacob parts, because I was like, I don't like you, you're so, you're a little turd, like, whatever. Um, yeah, then I read them a second and third time, um, and I really just got a new perspective on it because Jacob is really a very good friend to Bella. And, I mean, obviously he's in love with her, so he's, like, trying to be really protective of her. And Edward is a jerk in New Moon. He leaves for stupid reasons. He doesn't think about what his leaving is going to do to Bella. Um, spoiler if you haven't read New Moon. My bad. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, he's a jerk. So, okay, I love the fact that Jacob is being all protective, like, embracing Bella, and then she's kind of pushing him away, like, I kind of like you, but I really shouldn't, because I'm still very deeply attached to this guy who ditched me. And then how Edward's kind of creeping in the background, like, I see you, I see what you're doing. Like, I don't know, it's just awesome. Sorry I've said like so many times just then. Um, and then the others are, if I can find them, where'd they go? Oh, here we go. Um, We Bought a Zoo. Uh, I love this cover because it just shows you what the book's gonna be about. Like, I mean, aside from the title, but it shows you, like, all the animals and the sign 
part of the sign that says like the zoological bird song um i love again that it shows you what it's going to be about like it's set during world war one so there you have the main character one of the main characters like fighting in world war one and then the top um i just love this picture because it just it's so like tragic love story ish i just i love it plus i love these two actors that's a little bit of the biasness but yeah Okay. Um, yeah, that was, what was your favorite cover and why? Sorry. And then six, hang on, how many? Okay, yeah, we got time. Um, did you first see the TV series and or movie, um, or did you read the book first? Um, the only four of these that I have, um, read the book first are Last Song, New Moon, Eclipse, and Holes. Oh, wait. I lied. Um, last song I did see the film. Well, okay, I don't remember. I don't actually remember with last song, so I'll just leave that one off. Um, but New Moon, Eclipse, and Holes. Um, because I, as I mentioned, I read Holes in sixth grade, um, before the film came out, and New Moon and Eclipse I read in 10th and 11th grade, and the film, those films didn't come out until I was in college. So, um, yeah, I'm ashamed to say that I saw the films for all of these other ones first, but it's true. Except Virgin Suicides. Um, Virgin Suicides, I've only seen one... Sorry, I thought my neighbor was in his backyard. Um, one scene from it, and it really freaked me out. So I won't even be watching that after I read the book. Um, the book's going to be hard enough with that. Seven, do you mostly buy books before or after they are released? Um, all of these, or after the films are released, sorry, not the books. But anyway, um, all of these I bought after the films because they all are the tie-in editions, obviously. But uh, Holes, Aragon, uh, New Moon, and Eclipse, uh, I had non-movie covers of first, um, and the reason I have the movie cover of Aragon is because, well, actually, Holes I never owned. Um, it was a school copy that I read, but, uh, New Moon and Eclipse I have the regular editions, and Aragon I did have the regular edition. I've actually owned three copies of Aragon. Um, one copy, I, well, okay, one copy was borrowed. One copy I got Aragon and Eldest as a paperback bind-up, and it was awesome. But for some reason, I decided I'm never going to read this, and I gave it away, which was incredibly stupid, because that copy was really pretty. And now I'm back on the I really do want to read the Inheritance Cycle at some point kick. Um, so that's why I got the movie edition. It was in Salvation Army. I got it for a dollar. But anyway, hope that answers your questions. Um, okay, cool. We're good on time. So, uh, yeah, that's all of my movie tie-in editions and all the questions. Um, if you guys have any questions about synopsises or anything, or if you guys have read any of these, um, let me know down below. Again, I'm sorry for the New Moon spoiler on accident. If you guys haven't read it, my bad. Um, and yeah, um, again, thank you, Claire, for tagging me. And if anybody wants to do their own Bomov tag, I'm not going to tag anyone because I don't know who has, like, movie tie-in editions and who doesn't. Um, so I'm just going to leave this tag open for whoever wants to do. That'd be awesome. Um, and... Well, what else was I going to say? I don't know. But, um, yeah. Just thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Okay. Bye, guys.